seven. Good Deadpool. <laughs> What's up, everyone, and thank you for joining us once again on the D-Star Zero One channel. I'm your host, Dexter Raffulis, and today I'm introducing a brand new item to DStarToys.com. That's right, we're looking at the D-Star Arms, Deadpool, Desert Eagles. I'm releasing these in batches of 10, maybe once a month. It really depends how much demand I get for these. So far, I put them up last weekend on Instagram, and they sold out within two days. Wow, you guys are really looking for Desert Eagles for your SH figure arts Deadpool. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna look into them. I'm gonna show you exactly what I did here, uh, what I did in terms of painting and everything like that. And we're gonna look at the first 10 sets here, or at least one of the first 10 sets here. And I'm gonna show you the presentation and everything like that. And also, I'm gonna show you that you can use these with other action figures. And if you're looking to pick these up, you can go to www.dstartoys.com. We're a source for awesome action figures and custom 112 scale firearms. So let's jump right into it. Clearly, these were designed for the SH Figure Arts Deadpool. Now, the one thing that's missing that I have to get out of the way right away, and let's get this out of the way. I don't have holsters for them yet. I am currently in the process of designing these. I might put these up. Um, probably next month. I just have a lot on my plate right now to design the holsters to work with these. Uh, once I get something going, I'm, obviously I'm going to post them on Instagram or whatnot, and uh, or maybe in the newsletter on D-Star Toys, and I'm going to tell you if they are done. For now, I'm in the process of designing them. Something that will fit into this slot, and I'm kind of wondering if I should design them like the Deadpool 2, or Deadpool 1 holsters. I believe the Deadpool 1 holsters are a full-blown like covered of the Desert Eagles, whereas I think the Deadpool 2 are kind of very similar to the halfway uh, covered um, holster just like this Marvel Legends right here. So now that I have that out of the way, let's look at these Desert Eagles that I have made right here. Now obviously we're not going to look at these. These are ones that I made for myself. We're going to look at one made for a customer right here. As you can see here, it comes in this really cool box and you're gonna get four Desert Eagles, all custom painted uh, by yours truly. And it looks really cool. As you can see right here, these will all fit your SH Figure Arts Deadpool and whatnot. Let's see if we can focus up there. And it has a really nice silver finish. I put a gloss finish and whatnot. Actually, since we're speaking of paints and whatnot, let me show you exactly what I painted it with. So I am really enjoying the Mr. Color Super Metallic 2, Super Chrome Silver 2. I practically used almost an entire jar to do 10 sets. Uh, this is a really nice color, very smooth finish. Absolutely love this. I know the, the in the movie, these are chrome deagles, but they're really dirty. So what you can do if you really want to dirty these up, you can just probably put like a really light coat of black on it with some spray paint. Just pss, pss, and that's pretty much it to give it a much darker. These are very brand new looking Desert Eagles right there. So yeah, silver right there. And of course I used a uh, any flat black on the grips. Now the grips are a separate piece that I glued onto the gun as you can see right here. And the reason why I did that instead of just painting it as all one unit is because the reason why you want to do that or why I did that is because I wanted a cleaner finish for everyone. So when you paint these a separate black, you'll notice that when you plug these in and glue them, you're going to get a much cleaner finish and more authentic looking Desert Eagle, which is something I really like. Uh, one thing that I also did here when it comes to paint if you look really close, see if we can focus up there. I painted the 50 caliber uh, Action Express bullet right there in nice gold. So it looks like it's loading right in the chamber. And also if you look here, the hole actually goes all the way through, which is really, really nice right there. So that's for the open slide one. You can use this as kind of like an action pose when it's shooting or maybe he's reloading or cocking back the slide. And also the regular one when he's just, you know, posing with the gun itself. Also, there is a indeed a hole right there. So that's really cool. Um, 
Yeah, so I also finished it with a 2K, 2K gloss clear. So it has a really nice hard finish on it. I know a lot of people wonder, how do you get paint to stay on there without scratching? And this is how you do it. You need a two part gloss clear to go on it and you basically let it dry. And now you have a nice scratch resistant finish on that Silver Deagle. Look at it shine. Also it has a gloss finish on it too. So it shines really beautifully. So that's what I did with them when it comes to paint and everything like that. These are obviously 3D printed. Um, these were designed by Gunter, uh, my 3D design artist for guns right now. He doesn't have anything on his mini factory. I honestly don't know what happened. He, he's, he's kind of been out of the scene lately. Uh, lucky, lucky for me, I, I managed to uh, take some of his designs and he authorized me to use them and do whatever I can with them. Hopefully I can get in touch with him again. We can come up with more designs and stuff like that. So if you're wondering how these guns work with your regular Marvel Legends Deadpool. And I have to say, it does work really well. I scaled these to work with most figures. So they will work with your Marvel Legends Deadpool, as you can see right here. There he is with a Desert Eagle. Much nicer. I believe these are much nicer, much sturdier than these. <laughs> uh, these you have to really pull out of your Marvel Legends Deadpool and they just are oh man let me just tell you this was really tough to pull out they super glued these in and pretty much molded over it so you have to really push them out and that kind of sucks that you know a lot of the Marvel figures and stuff like that aren't coming with guns and look at that that just looks really solid right there so other other characters here is I know you'd never put this character with a gun here is a Mafex, uh, Dark Knight Returns, Batman. He's generally a larger figure, but you can have him hold the Desert Eagle right there. So that does look really good right there. He's a much bigger figure, so the gun does seem to be a little bit smaller, but it does work. Now, the question that I'm going to get is, does this work with Little Armory? Now, right now, I don't have a Little Armory girl with me, but I do have Aqua here, and she does uh, scale really well with little armory figures. So again, these guns are a little bit big, but they will fit from what I understand. So you gotta stretch out the hand a little bit right there. Need to finagle it just a tad. So I managed to make it fit Aqua's hand. It just requires it to be bent just a little bit and there you have it. There she is with the Desert Eagle. Now, albeit the gun is very large in real life, the gun is large, so it's not going to fully fit her hand, but you can get her to pose with it, which is really, really nice. So another thing. So here is an SH Figure Arts Bulma. We're going to take another set here and look at this. This one fits really nicely, actually. Especially with this Bulma, I have to say, I am really enjoying the way this Bulma is right here. When it comes to um, looking at that right there, that's really solid. Wow, absolutely love that. So what we have here is Bulma with the Desert Eagle right here. Looking really solid right there. So there you have it. Wow, look at that. Very cool. So again, um, these are going to be available at dstartoys.com. Um, right now, we are sold out of the current batch. I'm going to try to bring these back next month. If you guys are interested, just let me know down in the comments down below or message me on Instagram. Hey, you know what? I'm interested. If I get enough people to, to be interested in it, of course, I will be making another set for you guys so you guys can have a Deadpool that's supposed to have guns but didn't come with any anyway. Anyway, guys, of course, I'm going to release those holsters soon. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you're always in the know when I post new videos. And last but not least, if you're looking to pick these up, when they become available again, hopefully, you can always go to www.dstartoys.com where we'll the source for awesome action figures. And I will see you guys next time. Peace.
you. Thanks for watching. Rate, comment, and subscribe. Where? Right here. Not there. Right here. You. And thanks for watching. So, rate, comment, and subscribe. Right here. Right there. Right here. Yeah.